I kind of wear it because, you know, it's kind of like an adventure kind of thing, you know. Um, you know kind of like a goony kind of thing. I don't know. But yeah, that, that, we, we, uh, that's why we kind of wear skulls. The man, the myth, the legend, Zeta Man. Well, I do a lot of biking. I also, uh, I also do Aikido uh, about three times a week. Um, I also do some exercise videos, uh, and that's pretty much it. How he can get away with being as humble as he is, with as much time as he has under his belt as an RLSH. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I don't know you. I've, I've seen you in the newspaper. Oh, how you doing? I'm good. RealLifeSuperheroes.org is mine and Dark Guardian's attempt to create the ultimate resource information site about real life superheroes. Ever since I was about 10 years old, I wanted to be a superhero. And when I see these guys actually doing it, it blows my mind. How he can remain ever so humble. I hope to emulate him in his skill of humility. Well, this is my Master Universe collection. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have this one growing up. And then it, uh, you know, that's one damage, and then that's, you know, second damage, I guess. I actually kind of like Skeletor. Skeletor was always my favorite uh, character. Um, if you want, I can put, Mas I have some Master Universe cartoons you can put on. Zeta Man, Zeta Man is a good husband, and he's a good provider, and he's a great big kid. When I, uh, this sounds so dorky, but I, at, at He-Man, Cart the He-Man cartoon, the Master Universe cartoon, they had messages at the end of, of, the, of the story, and it's inspired me. You know, I remember them when I was a kid, and I did my best I can to, you know, not be a bad person and be like He-Man. My wife and I, we used to go to church, and, you know, we used to tithe and stuff like that, but, you know what, this way, I'm giving money, but I know where it's going to, you know? A Zeta Pack is a two-and-a-half-gallon bag of toiletries and supplies and food and cigarettes and condoms and and everything that a homeless person might want or need for a period of time. We're not rich. We work hard for money and we have a lot of bills just like everyone else. But we feel that it's important to put some money aside. I believe this world does need heroes. One time this kid uh, was with his parents and they didn't want to go to the rescue mission because the rescue mission was going to separate them and it was it was horrible this kid was happy because we fed him that day and he was so happy that he had a sandwich and it struck me and you know we gave the parent you know we gave the parents our shoes and you know whatever whatever they wanted we just gave it to them no one could possibly know how much I love that man he didn't have the easiest childhood, and I think that he remembers that. And he has a passion because he knows it's all, you know, it, it could be anybody that we know could suddenly be homeless. We could be homeless. This is kind of like my way of creating some kind of MRE for the street. I think it's like a survival kit for maybe like one day at most. Me and my team, the Alternates, we patrol the city at night, handing out stuff to the needy. The Alternates consist of myself, my wife, Apocalypse Meow, and Anti-Man. Oh, that's my baby. Anti-Man, you know, helps out. He's definitely there to make sure, you know, I don't get hurt. Some nights I got my fighting stick. Some nights I've got an actual, like, a staff. Some nights I've got a sword. Sometimes I've got two swords. Sometimes I've just got my throwing knife. Sometimes I don't even bring anything. Anti-man, he is about six foot four. Um, he dresses all in black. He has a little cape, so he gets called Batman sometimes. But he kind of he kind of looks kind of scary. You know, I want to train to be a cop, um, and hopefully become a homicide detective, and uh, hopefully work for the Portland Police Department. Zanaman, I'd have to say he's got to be my best friend. Uh, he's great with the charities, the kids, the people, just phenomenal with people. Every other season, we uh, do a team up with the group from Seattle. Um, I've been doing archery since I was about 10 years old. Instead of just saying, oh gosh, all the homeless, we should help them, give them money, blah, 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 but actually getting out there and helping them.
I traveled here from Salt Lake City to learn from Zeta Man, specifically how he works with the homeless. Oh, just one pair? Zeta Man is the inspiration behind all of what I do. Uh, I found Zeta Man because he was from Portland, Oregon. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I was like, this dude's three hours from me. I have a rather huge order, uh, if that's okay. Okay. Um, can I get uh, 20 Whopper Juniors? 20? Yes, please. The first meetup with the Portland-based RLSH Zeta Man and the alternates could not have went better, in my opinion. Hey, you guys hungry? Hey, we got some burgers and stuff. Uh, the entire kit. Zeta Man is like a force of nature. He has this enthusiasm, this drive, and this big heart to go out and help people. I think everyone could use a Zeta Man. Well, we're doing our best to make Portland weird. We have a reputation, we need to uphold it. Hey, it's, this, this is fucking cool, man. Like, excuse my language. No, nah, it's cool. This is freaking cool. I got to experience my first, you know, handout and actually helped a woman who might have been very ill and was able to point her towards some paramedic-based RLSH, and I thought that was awesome. At first, I started doing what I do. When I was growing up, even though we were very poor, we would help out, and I missed that, you know? With a hamburger, one of these hamburgers. Sometimes it's really, really hard because you meet some people and they're broken. Because there's some pop tarts out. The bread yeah. will help settle your stomach. Yeah, that's good. He just wants to be there. And when he sees that you need help, he's ready to kneel down and open his bag and give you anything he has. I think he went really well. I, I hope uh, we all you know, learned something. I'm enthusiastic about getting back and, and putting together my own packs for the homeless. I don't know if I'm prepared for any situation that comes out there. Every single night, situations are different. I do the best I can, and I'm definitely going to be an active citizen and a proactive citizen.